Hey everyone, how are you all? In today's video, we will discuss how you can install Traffic Lab Exchange PHP script on your cPanel. So what is this script about? Actually, this script is based on a traffic exchange system. A system where you have to visit multiple websites and there you will earn some coins in reward. Before continuing this video, if you are new to this channel, then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the latest updates of this channel. So without wasting your time, stay tuned. Now you can see I'm on my cPanel and here we have to upload our file. If you haven't downloaded your files from the Code Canyon or any else from where you purchase, so download first these files. I have already downloaded to the desktop. Here you can see this is the traffic lab, uh, traffic actions platform and this is the version 1.1. This is the last version of the script. Or if you just want to test these files on your web server, so I will provide these files in my description. You can simply download from there. So our main files are in this uh, files folder. So we have to open this files folder. These are the all files which we have to upload in our cPanel. So first of all, we have to archive these folders. Just add to archive and simply zip and OK. Now we have the files.zip file so we have to upload this file only so i'm going here and just click on upload and here just select the file which we archive just go to download traffic lab and files folder and here our zip file so select this now this file has been uploaded so we have to just reload this page and now extract these files. Now our all files has been extracted. Now you can see I have uploaded these files to our protein job folder and this folder is linked to proteinjob.com domain. So we have to open this domain proteinjob.com. So you can see this is showing HTTP error 500. So in this case what we have to do just go on your search panel and here type slash installer then hit the enter then this will redirect you to a page where this is asking some permissions like i agree next step so you have to click on this button and this will redirect you to another step which is server requirements you have to check all these options and these options have to be checked and now simple click on next step option and here this is showing me some error so we have to fix this first so we have to edit these folders permissions to 0 7 7 and 5 so for that we have to go in our cpanel file manager and as this is saying core bootstrap and cache so we have to locate this folder core bootstrap and cache so this is the core folder here core bootstrap and this is the cache folder so just simple click on cache folder and here is the permissions option and you just press the right click here and the permission option is also here so just change permissions and which permission we have to change 7 7 and 5 7 7 and 5 just change the permissions for this folder so you can see now the 0 the 7 7 and 5 we have changed the folder 7 7 and 5 so we have to change these as well so i'm going to change these all now you can see there is no any error because we have updated uh, permissions of these files. So just simple click on next step. Now this will ask installation information. You have to put website URL here. You have to put your purchase verification here and database details and admin credentials. I have already created a database for this or if you don't know how to create a database. So let me show you how you can create this. Just here is a database option. And I'm using Bluehost. Now you can see here is an option to create a new database. Just type here your database name and just simple click on this create database option here. And after that we have to assign a user or you have to create a new user. You can create a new user option here. Just simple uh, type a username of a user and create a password and again type a password and just create the user. Now next step is we have to assign a user to the database. So this option is here add user to database. Here you have to choose your user and here you have to choose your database. Just simple click on the add button and this will redirect you to another page which will ask you some privileges. Just click on all privileges and hit the make changes button here. So, so this will change and your username and the database will show here. Okay, so now I'm going to put these all details and let's install this now. Now I have filled all details and now I'm going to install this. 
Now you can see a successful message of installation is appearing here. Your system has been installed successfully. Admin credentials are uh, has been set successfully. Please delete the install folder from the server. So we have to delete the install folder as well. So we have to go in our install folder. But this is not enough. When you click on the uh, go to website option here, then we get an error of 500 error uh, instead of complete website preview. Uh, we have to remove this 500 error. We have successfully uploaded our database, but, but looking like this website is not fetching any details from the database. So we have to correct these details for that. We have to go in our uh, cPanel and here you can see a core folder here. Just open it. Now you can see a dot env file here, just simply added this file. Here you can see this file is completely blank. So our website is not working because of this. So we have to edit this. You can see another file which is dot env dot example. So we have to edit this also. Just simply copy these all details and paste in the dot env file and just save this. Oh, wait, wait, don't save this now. We have to correct these all details. Just put here your database name, which you last created. Uh, my database name is uh, protein job. Okay. Now correct your username here. And now fill your password here. Now click on the save changes button. Uh, wait, this is showing error again save changes okay this has been success so now again we have to uh, refresh the page now this is uh, saying again no application encryption key has been specified so we have to correct this for this we have to uh, open our putty in our putty i have to uh, copy my shared ip address and just go in my putty and open so these are my ftp details or ssh details which i am filling here so now you can see i have successfully logged in now i have to go in my folders and the folder is web uh, public html uh, protein job and core so we have to copy this folder and open this and just paste here and uh, wait 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 something error cd public html cd public html yeah i think this will work protein job then again cd core okay so now we are in the folder of core. So now we have to run an artisan command to generate our key. Just go to your putty again. PHP artisan key generate. Okay, then hit the enter. So now application key set successfully. Just to check your website again. Okay, now this is showing traffic lab homepage. Now we will log in in our admin panel, just going to admin. So these are admin credentials we have to put in admin and the password. Oh, wait, something error. Continue. So now you can see I'm in the admin panel of my website. So here are some options like advertisement, manage plans. You can manage your plans here. You can add new plans for your website visitors. Okay. And here advertisements option available here for users. Manage users option here. Payment gateways options here. Deposits option here. And in general settings, you can set your website details like site title, currency, in which currency you want to set your website and the currency symbol and sign up credit, referral sign up credit option, minimum required per click. This option is like when someone click on a link, then what credit will be generated to that user?
So one credit will be generated to a user when he will click a link. This option is for when someone visit our website. So how much time we want that user will active on that website. And this is the duration option available here. And your website base color option. Uh, you can change your website base color here like black, choose site secondary color and force a secure password you can enable or disable this and default sign up plan no option here you have to uh, create your plans here after that you can uh, select options here user registration if you want someone to register your website then you can click uh, to activate this option otherwise you can disable this the other option is force ssl if you want your website will redirect to your https directly so you can enable this option email verification option is available email notification of option is available here SMS verification option is available here. So you can uh, choose or activate uh, according to your requirements. And the other option is logo icon settings. You can choose your logos here. You can set up your logos, five icons, and you can directly update here. In the extension option, you can uh, set to talk to Google recapture, custom recapture, Google analytics, and uh, Facebook comments. Okay. So now uh, language is a simple language where you can change languages or set languages or you can add your own languages here. Now other option is SEO manager. Here you can set meta keywords, meta description, social title and social description here. And after that email manager, global template, email templates or email configuration, you can configure your email via your SMTP, SendGrid, uh, MailChat, just these are the websites, API option. You have to purchase these APIs or you can choose free plans of the and, and just type their API keys and update. Other option is SMS manager here, just API settings. You can set your API settings, which SMS API you want to change. SMS course, these are number, message, and the SMS templates are also available here, like password reset, password reset confirmation. You can set these according to your requirement. And the other section is manage templates, manage pages and manage sections here. And the sections about section about account background, banner section, blog section. These are all sections of your websites available here. So you can change these according to your requirements. So now come to your website again we have to register as a user and we want to take a look of our dashboard here so we have to register accept this checkbox and create account now we are in our dashboard so our dashboard will look like this and this is our uh, referral link. You can share this link with your friends so that they will click on any link. Then you will get some coins. Now here you can see balance, credit, transaction, creative promotion, downline, name of plan, create uh, credit history or apply. You have to deposit some money here. Uh, so that you can successfully run your websites. When you look on the advertisements option no advertisement found then when someone run an advertisement then all advertisement will appear here so you have to click those advertisements to earn coins so this php script can be profitable option for you if you like this video then press the like button if you're new to this channel then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the latest updates of this channel see you again in our next video till then goodbye tata and take care